I have talked a lot about postpartum hemorrhage on my platform, and I've also addressed the use of different devices like the Bakri balloon or the Jada device. And it never fails when I talk about the Jada, there's a lot of chatter in my comments uh, from clinicians saying it's a must have and, and if you don't have it on your labor and delivery unit, then you're not a good labor and delivery unit. My stance has always been it doesn't matter what device you use. The Jada is no better than the Bakri. The Bakri is no better than the Jada. And ACOG just put out a clinical practice update on the use of non-surgical hemorrhage control devices for postpartum hemorrhage. And they talk specifically about the Bakri balloon and the Jada. And their overall recommendation is that all labor and delivery units have access to non-surgical hemorrhage control devices, the Bakri or the Jada, as part of a comprehensive management algorithm for postpartum hemorrhage. And I will just say, I have never used a Jada other than in the original study. We were one of the centers. And I cannot tell you the last time I used a Bakri balloon. The key is early recognition, appropriate use of uterotonic medications, and then having an algorithm, a stage-based algorithm for how to progress through from medications into a non-surgical device and then beyond if bleeding continues. And knowing those risk factors, knowing which one of your patients is at the most risk, but in reality, any one of their, your patients could be. So if your labor and delivery unit does not have the data, it doesn't mean they're a crappy labor and delivery unit. For patients out there, you need to be on a labor and delivery unit that has a stage-based algorithm for the management of postpartum hemorrhage, including the use of a non-surgical device at some point in that algorithm. You need to be <clears throat> on a labor and delivery unit who, ha who does risk assessments for postpartum hemorrhage and one where they do routine drills on the management of postpartum hemorrhage. And ideally, they have access to a blood bank because unfortunately, with pregnancy and postpartum, Bleeding happens very quickly and in a lot, large amount, and that's because the average blood flow to a uterus at term is 500 cc's per minute, and that's a lot. 